The problem with Skyrim is that, you know, always when I do like a character like this in a video game or something like that, I always try to make him as ugly as possible. But uh, here in Skyrim, it's uh, like, you can't really do anything. They look ugly, but it's not like it's monstrous or anything like that. Not like in Mass Effect. That was a good game. Ugh, this is boring. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another Frequently Asked Questions video. And uh, I have a bunch of really good questions today. I'm really excited. First, I just wanted to say thank you, guys. You fucking rock, okay? You're awesome. I love your questions. I love your support. You're just being awesome. I think the key word for today is just awesome. Just everything is awesome. Except the weather. It sucks. So what are your thoughts about the new Ibanez AZ series? <laughs> AZ series. AZ. <laughs> okay, so when I was at Larvik Guitar Festival, I got a chance to try out the uh, new Ibanez uh, AC series. And um, I'm going to be completely honest. I really enjoy them. And, uh, you know, when I took what when I picked one up, it was like, okay, I thought like, okay, it's probably gonna feel like an Ibanez. Every Ibanez kind of feels like another Ibanez in some sort. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised that it was not feeling like the regular Ibanez. It was definitely feeling like something else. And it was nice. It was just really, really nice. I'm not sure if the prices are good or not. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to the specs, but it, they felt really good. And I think the roast of maple really look well. So, well done, Ibanez. Hi, Ola. How did you get the sound from the chorus part of the song Mare? Seems like a simple lick to me, but for some reason it sounds great. What's the secret? Love you. Oh, I love you too, buddy. Uh, you need, obviously, a guitar. Kind of makes sense. Then you need audio. I have to listen to this song. <laughs> I don't remember how it went. Okay. You need to have your guitar tuned to drop C, okay? And uh, the rhythm guitar is basically very simple, so... That's it, but I think what you're talking about that makes that kind of eerie sound is that I'm using an Ebo. So let's try that, see how it works. Any battery? Yeah. So what I have is basically I have two different signals, one high and one low Ebo. So, uh, try the high Ebo. And then the slow band. That's it! But it gives it that little, you know, scary type of sound to that song. So I like that those simple kind of tricks that you can use. Okay, next question. Ola, do you enjoy a few memes now and then? If so, how dank do they get? I do enjoy a bunch of memes now and then. I don't really stay up to date, but um, you know, a good guy to follow is um, PewDiePie. He's good with the memes. But can you do this? Uh, oh, you can't. Okay. <laughs> I thought you could. No. Oh, that, that, that's me making... Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that did not work. I hurt myself instead. Hey Ola, what's your take on bands like Rings of Saturn? Too much? Or do you enjoy listening to very technical guitars in metal? Cheers from Oregon, USA. Um, to be honest, I'm not that familiar with Rings of Saturn. I've heard some of the songs and it's um, definitely very technical, but it's not something I particularly enjoy. I... And uh, yeah, I definitely respect what they're doing. They're really awesome players. Did I just spit on myself? I probably did. But uh, yeah. Hey Ola, will you ever answer one of my questions? Thank you. I will. One day, buddy. One day. How far... 
how far apart do you pan your rhythm guitars when recording? How far apart I pan my rhythm guitars? I do 100% left and right, so as far left and as far right as possible, basically. And then I have the bass guitar in the center, okay? Would you rather drink a... <laughs> would you rather... Okay. Would you... Would you rather drink a liter... Would you rather drink a liter of piss or a teaspoon of semen? It, man, where do you get all these questions from? It's uh, it's a really good question, I must say. I would definitely drink piss. I mean, semen is... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I guess it depends on whose semen it is. Where did you get that sick testament t-shirt in the studio tour video? I cannot find it anywhere. I guess you're referring to this awesome testament t-shirt. And uh, it's a cool story. I actually got it from Eric Peterson in testament at Walken two years ago. Ola, important question. Is it better with or without condom? What's your opinion? Okay, I'm, I'm getting the good questions now on this FAQ. I'm, I, I'm, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. Is the Axe 8 your solution to the backline rental problem when playing in different countries? Yeah, it's a very convenient way for me to get around and get uh, my type of sound through any type of amplifier. So what I do is I bring my Axe 8, I plug it into whatever effects loop of a backline amplifier that there is at the venue. An absolute worst case scenario, I can hook up my Axe 8 directly to the mixing board or the front of house and I have a sound. So I still have my, my type of sound everywhere basically. So yeah, it's definitely a good solution. I totally recommend it. Why is your name England and not England? It always bugged me. Okay, first of all, England is not England. Okay, England is a country. England, my last name, is a mix of two words. Eng and Lund. And Eng is basically a meadow, you know? And Lund is a grove. So my last name means meadow grove, basically. And it's an old Swedish surname. So yeah, it has nothing to do with England. You deserve 10 million subscribers. That's what I've been saying the whole time. Why isn't it happening? All right, it's because I swear. I said that the last time. That's right. F God. Piece of shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's getting censored for sure. Shit, I even startled myself there. How looks your... F how looks your face without a beard? I'm sitting on the toilet doing a big poo while watching this. Kudos to you, buddy. I'm happy for you. Yo, Ola, do you enjoy old school video games at all? If so, any favorites? Of course, but the thing is that I play those old school games when they were new back in the day. I mean, I've been playing video games since late uh, 80s. You know, I, uh, I played Commodore 64 and Amiga, obviously Nintendo and Sega, uh, the Sega Master System. Uh, I think the Sega Master System was the first console I ever owned. And um, I think it was, uh, yeah, when I was seven years old, I had that. And uh, yeah, I definitely, you know, all these old games, I played most of them because I played a lot of games back in the day. And uh, so many favorites, I think like the first Doom, I remember when that came around, it was just, a, you know, it was the first of its kind. I mean, you had Wolfenstein uh, 3D before, but Doom was just... Horror. I mean, the first time you ever saw horror in a sense, you know, that it was uh, first person. And it was just totally blowing my mind because, I mean, you look at it now, it's like, it's laughable. But back in the day, you'd never seen anything like that. And it was so f scary. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. I love Doom. Opinions about room acoustic treatment. Thank you. I don't really go after a specific formula for, um, you know, treating my room. But what I do is basically I have panels over here. Maybe I can show you real quick. So on this side of the room, I have Aurelex uh, panels. So it basically covers the whole part of that wall. On the other side here, from now on, I also have, you know, curtains. And behind those curtains are my green screen wall. So what I'm doing is that I'm adding a bunch of absorption in my room. And you can see I also have curtains there that are pretty thick and my carpet is kind of thick. So I just basically fill my room with uh, good absorption. You know, it's a rectangular room. It's not perfect for audio engineering, but, but at least with all these absorbing materials, you know, I kill most of the reflections that I kind of think are annoying. 
So yeah, I don't really go for a, for a formula, but there's a bunch of, you know, YouTube guides out there you can check out if, if you want to learn about that. Hola hola, I really like your guitars, but not the logo on the 12th fret. In my not-so-humble opinion, that's not a brand, but a signature guitar. Maybe you can have a run of guitars without the logo, so we can have a Solar guitar and not Ola's guitar. I, you, know what I mean. Alright, so, I know there's a lot of people that do not like uh, the Solar logo, and before answering this question, I just want to make sure you understand that I'm not using the Solar logo anymore for myself. The Solar logo is only being used for the Solar Guitars brand, so it's become the logo for the Solar Guitars brand now, and I'm not using it personally. Just to start off, I know a lot of people, uh, they see that logo, they think about me, okay? And that makes total sense, I know. And uh, you know what? I like having the logo there. It looks good. Design-wise, it takes the eye to the center of the guitar, and I like that. And uh, I know and I understand that it's not for everyone, but, you know, it's a design decision that I went with, and uh, I, I think it's, it was a good decision, because the guitars are sold out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the last question. Okay, good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section of this video. And please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. And if you love me, subscribe to me, okay? And uh, thank you so much for the support. I love what you're doing. I love your comments. Never stop writing those comments, okay? I see them, most of them, in my phone as a notification. So, uh, yeah. Bye!